Okay, it appears they're both ready. Go time. And here we go. So P Jelly, he's got a 10.54 according to his split. I believe Paco's got a pretty good time. Alright, now he's got a pretty good cloud time. Both get a 360. Okay, according to the leaderboard, Paco has a Both get the standard 259. Paco, he's here after beating Runner Watcher last round. P Jelly defeated Big Z. Does it look like anyone got shell jump? Looked away, but I saw 277 for both at the pipe. As expected, a lot of safe maneuvering through the fence. Everybody's favorite room. Both, of course, opting to use the fire flower here. Both get a nice kill with the standard. Two shots and stomp and shoot them into the lava strat. As expected, a close match so far, but it's only begun. Paco losing peace speed after getting the feather. Might be a 61 for PJ. 60 for Paco. So P Jelly might have a slight edge now in the race.
PJ went a little too far right. Lost one in game second. Fifty six and a fifty five, so that basically erases the gap from the last level. And we see P Jelly here making contact with the Boo Ring, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Paco gets through and is on his way to fighting Big Boo. PJ Ellie, being very careful, you definitely do not want to die here. Went for what we call RN jump. There are some times you can make that jump, but there are times you can't. As Paco finishes with a very nice 339. I definitely expect P. Jelly to go back to Donald Plains 1 to get a cape. Paco going for a right zip successfully and a very nice looking 291. And here goes P. Jelly back to get a cape in DP1. PJ also going for right zip successfully too. 290 for him. Paco getting a 259. Looks like he had a little trouble at the end. One ninety one. P. Jelly also getting a two fifty nine in star two. Paco getting fast enough fly to get a 272. Paco will reach front door first. Gets the 390. Swaps over to fire so he can get a damage boost and go through here in door 5. But gets final bossed. Not a bad run though from Paco. He's going to have a sub 11 with a good Bowser fight. P. Jelly, meanwhile, going through front door. Ops to just go for door 5 instead of door 7, which I don't blame him for. Also getting final boss. Paco, meanwhile, getting through phase one. P. Jelly's in. So one full phase will separate these two. It all comes down to Donna's secret house. 
Otherwise, it was a pretty solid run from both. That's definitely good enough to be a ball skip from Paco. Phase two complete. Gets the first hit. And with a 10.48 SRL time, Paco takes down race number one of this match. As a reminder, it is best two up three. That's a pretty good time also. No major mistakes. P Jelly done. SRL shows 1126. Good game to both. Now we set up for race number two. Okay, race room two is open. Getting set for race two with X Paco five up one nil. Thank you. 
Looks like we'll be ready at any second. Countdown is on. And that's it. Race 2 has started. So the most important thing at the start is they go right. Good job both, and now running once again through Yoshi's Island too. Both opting to carry the shell all the way through. PJ might have been going for some kind of swag there. Nothing wrong there, 259s. Both of them going for it, but neither connecting. Did Paco get it? Yeah, it looks like Paco did get it. Two eight or two seventy eight pipe. Both going to make it through door to the door of Castle One. Gets the 80 kill, so does P. Jelly. 41 for Paco versus a 240. <laughs> Good feather grabs from both. Always gotta wait until the end though to see what kind of speed they had. Paco looks like he had fast fly. 
362. PGLE, not so fast. 361. The technically sync is technically good here. Oof, Paco. Getting hit there by the Kuba going for the shell. So he's got to swim through and grab this block here. Does have no cape skills. Oh um, man, it's now it's snowballing a little bit. Okay, he. Oh, he accidentally goes into. Don't a secret one. But he does go for the feather. Meanwhile, P. Jelly with a little extra spin, but he does get the P-Switch. So now it's going to be P. Jelly who has the big lead coming out of the ghost house. Paco now getting into the fight. As P. Jelly heads into Star World. Nice right zip. And a nice 290. Both of our players have had good right zips tonight. And here's some more. Oh, but he misses the second one, but gets it on the second go. PJ going for a quick key, misses it, and loses just a little bit of time. Paco gets the 60. I still haven't seen a 261. Nice flight. It's the 192. P. Jelly with fast fly, 272. P. Jelly might be on a good run here. Oh no, but he grabs the fence. Oh no. He jelly went too early. And now, once again... Taco having a nice front door. P. Jelly is in Bowser, but he is small, so this is going to be very interesting to see if he can hold on here. 
Paco gets in. See if also the time difference comes into play. Well, P Jelly does finish the first phase. Paco is halfway done. The critical part is P Jelly getting ball skip. Takes the freebie. Paco also losing cape, so now both players have no cape. This is very good actually for P Jelly because he races a lot of the time difference between no cape and cape kill. And P Jelly finishes phase two. Jelly gets the first hit. Gets the second. P Jelly takes the second one with an SRL time of 11:13. Paco finishes 11:23 on his SRL time. And what that means is this match is now tied. And we will go to a deciding third race. Good game to both. All right, stick around, everyone because we're going to have a third race. Going to be starting in a matter of minutes.
Paco's finished. And pea jelly's finished. Right zip good once again. But the second one... A little troublesome, and he had to go all the way down the hard way, 283. See if pea jelly can make some of that gap up here, yes. 290. Gone just a little bit closer now. Two sixty from Paco. P Jelly again having trouble with the key and gets a two fifty seven. P Jelly enters as Paco exits pretty much. So here it looks about a half level difference. Two seventy two from Paco. Same from P Jelly. Three eighty nine door. <clears throat> Once again, going door five. Now in dark room. Particularly as long as. Nothing goes wrong. <clears throat> Pretty much we'll have a decision. Both have entered with their cape. Paco finished with phase one. Speed Jelly goes now for the second hit. Definitely a good ball skip. PJ also getting it. Both are now going to head into the third phase. Paco goes up, and with this final hit, he's going to win with a 10.52 SRL. Good game. P. Jelly is up, and he gets the final hit. 
11.04 on his SRL time. Good game to P. Jelly as well. And that is it. X Paco 5 will advance. Quickly looking at the bracket, Paco going to round four. He will now face Xander Webb, who is on a pretty good run. PJ Ali, meanwhile, will be sent down. Not out of it yet. Or maybe not out of it at all. Who knows? Looks like our racers are in waiting. Hello, Paco. Hello, P. Jelly. Hello. Uh, good game, both. Thank you. Thanks. So, um, what do you two want to talk about? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> Not really. I want to talk about PJ. He really, he, uh, he, he pushed me to the limit right there. I gave you a run for the money. Yeah. Run for the $41. <laughs> My bracket prediction stays alive. Um, Definitely made it fun. Anyway, yeah. what were your observations of that race, Bob? Well, the first one was close, but it what it really came down to was the ghost house for you, yeah, P. Jelly. I just completely beefed that one. And then the second one looked the opposite, pretty much. I, what happened in the second one? Yeah. So I got hit in, in dry room, and oh, really, yeah. it's like, it should not have happened. I was careful, and I still got hit, I thought. At least I thought it was careful. You tried too hard. I don't, I guess. The game could smell your fear. I guess so. Well, what I should have done was kept going, no, Kate. That would have been my only chance. You dumped that Koopa shell in the bin? How, and... how much time is lost by going back to get Kate? A lot. <laughs> Probably like 20 <laughs> seconds. In this category, feels like an eternity. Yeah. Cause it's like one mistake and it's over. <laughs> Alright, well, so another poor decision by me then. What was that Y3? That Y3 was bad. I don't, I'm not even sure what happened. Like, I felt really unconfident about one of the jumps, so I went back. <laughs> unconfident, incompetent? Probably incompetent. Yeah, so congrats to you, Paco. You face Thank you. the unstoppable Xander. What are your thoughts? Dude, Xander is going on a roll. You're, How's you're... he been doing? Un unstoppable. A little upset of Steven from the last round. Re uh, whoa. Really? What were the times? I personally didn't catch it, but it looks like it was two to one. Wow! I am impressed. Dude, okay. You didn't lose. You almost just lost to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, you know what, PJ? I had you right where I wanted you the whole time. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was on purpose. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> just wanted to put on a good show for the viewers. All right. It would be nice, though, if I could actually string together a good series without a big mistake, though. Yeah, such is the dream. Yeah. Well, wait a second. So, what are the best few times so far? That I know of, Louis has a 240, or 1042, and I got a 43. Louis got a 42? Oh, 42? Oh my God. Are you surprised, honestly? 
We got to make sure that his runs are live. That's what we got to check. Dude, in a race, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, it's proof call. Race. Come on. A live proof call? How do we do that? Who Someone knows? go to his house. <laughs> yeah, I could fly to Italy and watch him do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll report back in like 24 hours. Wow, a 1042 is... Really? He's the Italian stallion. What are you going to do? Who's got Louie winning the whole thing? Bob, who'd you... I, I, I have it in the whole thing, I think. I, I assume you picked yourself. Oh, where's my bracket? I am raising my hand here. I kind of... You know, Louie, he's really playing good SMW right now. Yeah, he's as good as he's ever been. <laughs> Better. Yeah. But I look at this bracket... Don't count out somebody like a Ben or a Moo Moody. That's true. Ben's been doing really well. How's Ben been doing? Better than 1050s? Uh, yeah. He's nice. Like he had one. Nice. Okay. All right, okay. bracket. Am I at the bottom yet? Nope. I'm second to last. Watch out for Ben. Look at Louis. Louis is. Louis's got all three files ready to go. All right. All right. Uh, any closing comments before yeah. we go? You want to play some cart? <laughs> sure. <laughs> let's go. No, I'm good. I gotta go to sleep. All right. All right. So before we possibly do that, let's talk about upcoming races for Thursday. First off, six p.m. Yoshi One Twelve versus Def. And then, 8 p.m., Silver Star versus Marcelo Matos. And also, Truman versus Umar. Ooh, that'll be a good one. I cannot wait for that. Finally, 9 p.m., Slash Infinity versus Venom Play. And that will do it for the Thursday lineup. And that will do it for us tonight. Thanks to everyone for watching. Okay. Thanks. Alrighty. These guys. Good night. <laughs>